Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to do a deployment of our machine learning model onto the Google Cloud Platform. And we are going to do this exercise using only two commands. So uh, just to make sure you get the right context about this video, uh, we are going to use the same machine learning model which we have used in our previous uh, previous video and that previous video was about deploying the model on a Heroku cloud so we are going to use the same machine learning model so if you have jumped directly on this video uh, so i would request you you take a look on the previous video so that you get a right context so uh, we are going to use the same uh, nav based classifier model that we have built uh, for predicting whether a user will uh, buy something via social media ad or not, given with uh, three parameters, so age, salary, and uh, gender. So, uh, so to start with, uh, first I'm going to tell you there are a couple of changes or tweaks that we need to do before doing the deployment on Google Cloud as compared to the uh, doing a deployment on the uh, your Heroku cloud. So first I'm going to tell you those things, then we will move on to the Google cloud uh, platform and then we will do the deployment. Uh, so let's get started with the those changes. So let me take you through those changes. What are the changes that are required? So um, this is the root uh, directory where all the code or all the files are present here. So if I take you through, this is my scalar.pickle. My scalar object uh, is stored here. A requirement.txt as I shared you with you in previous video as well. This is the txt file which contains all the library name and their versions which are required. Uh, so I have just used the same just like we did in the previous video. Then uh, this is my pickle file of my object, uh, sorry, model object. And this is the IPYNB file, basically the Python file of my model, which I uh, kind of source code of my model, which is not required, but I just kept it here some uh, like this only. And then we have main.py file. So main.python file is nothing. It is the same file that we used app.py into our Heroku cloud. So this is the main file. Uh, I just renamed it. There is not a single line of code change into this. So inside this main.py file, I just renamed it instead of app.py, we have main.py. Rest all of the things are same. So at the home page, uh, so at the at the like slash home URL, so it will render the index.html at the slash predict URL. It will do the same thing as we did in previous video. So basically it will uh, fetch all of the form values, convert them into integers. And uh, once it convert them into integer using the scalar object, which we loaded using this scalar.pickle file, um, it will transform those into um, final features and we will give those final features to our model and we will predict. And based on the prediction, we are just uh, rendering the uh, index.html again with this value, prediction value. That's the only thing. And nothing great, same, it's a plain simple backend file where we have one API. Um, and uh, the other change that we require for Google deployment is we need to have a app.yml file into our root folder. Uh, this file need to contain this value um, basically on which environment, uh, on which version of Python environment we want to do our deployment. So you can see that here I have written runtime colon Python 37. So it means that I, I need uh, Python 3.7. So if you need Python 3.10, you need to write Python 3.10. So instead of 3.7. So these are the only two files. Uh, app.py app need to be renamed as main.py and we need to have app.yml file which will have the information in which Python in environment we want to deploy. It. So that's the only thing, only changes that are required. Now let us move on to the Google Cloud Platform uh, web page. So uh, for that, you just need to go this URL console.cloud.google.com and you need to make a login using your Gmail ID. Once you log in, you will land here getting st on this getting started page. Once you land here, what you need to do is you need to uh, click on this hamburger menu. And uh, once you click on this hamburger menu and then scroll down a little bit, uh, you will find a menu IAM admin. Inside this IAM admin, you scroll down. Once you scroll down, then you can uh, 
find a menu create a project you click on this create a project and you can give the name of the uh, project so this is let's say my nb class c fire uh, let's say demo so i'm using the new base classifier demo and uh, location i can leave as it is and i will click on the create once i will create it will uh, go into the backend the, and will create a project with this name as you can see create a project and be class c fire demo so now you can see that it has created a project with nb classifier demo so uh, wait a second uh, so for that uh, i you you need to select here uh, nb classifier demo i have because i have already one another project here so by default it selected that one now you can see that this is completely blank so so this is completely blank so once you have done this part what you need to do is you you need to uh, basically there is one url which i will leave uh, leave in the description of this box what you need to do is you need to uh, basically download the google cloud sdk so it is nothing it is a simple uh, exe file for windows user so i will uh, i will uh, leave the link for this where from where you can download it once you download it install it is uh, install it in on your uh, machine once you install it if you are using let's say um, your company's uh, machine then you may get this error while installing it uh, google cloud python sdk installation error ssl certification error because what happens when we are using machine sorry machine from your office uh, they are kind of you know um, uh, they have uh, some protection of uh, and they have their root certificates uh, different certificates installed uh, so you may get this error so uh, to tackle this error if if you get this error during the installation of google cloud sdk on your machine uh, what you need to do is you need to you need to follow uh, i i also got this error and i resolved it using this solution you need to go at this location and you will find uh, there is a ca search dot uh, not this one sorry uh, this one uh, there is a file ca search dot pem what you need to do is you need to copy the content of your root certificate into this file so if i show it to you mine you need to go here so inside o inside your c drive uh inside c user mandi dot sing app data local google sdk so uh in this folder certificate certificate uh you need to open this file uh you need to edit edit it with notepad once you edit it with notepad you need to copy the root uh, the content of root certificate of your machine and paste here at the last so this is the certificate that i have pasted in my case so you can resolve the ssl certification error using this uh, technique once you what you need to do once you do this then do not install using then do not install using the uh, installer uh, you, then you need to go to the uh, install dot batch file where you have downloaded it you will find a install dot batch file and install it using that batch file if i show it to you uh, google cloud sdk and uh, google cloud sdk you go here so you need to install using this file because uh, what will happen if you will install using the same installer which you have downloaded it will wipe out this it will basically it will basically wipe out this content it will uh, wipe out this content which whichever you have pasted so it will again fail so what you need to do you need to find the root certificate of your uh, company copy the content paste into csr.pem file and after this then run this windows batch file then you will be able to install your google cloud sdk once your google cloud sdk is installed what you need to do is what you need to do is you need to go here and go into you will find a menu with name as 
uh, app engine. So once you do this, uh, let me uh, scroll through it. So yes, this app engine, go to the app engine and go to the dashboard. So once you go to the app engine and go to the dashboard, what you will find? You will land here. Once you will land here, what you need to do is you can click on this create application. Once you click on create application, you will find this. You need to select a region. You can select a region US central or any region. Uh, once you select this region, So you can see that once you do this part, you can download the SDK from here as well. Uh, or I will leave a direct link for downloading the SDK. Once you download it, you install it. Once you install it, what you need to do is you just need to go to the parent root folder of your, uh, your, uh, your root folder which you want to deploy and you can type cmd just like i did and then you need to do this g cloud in it so these are the only two commands that we need g cloud in it and g cloud de app deploy so i have entered g cloud in it so what it will do it will initialize the google cloud so it will ask some uh, some of the configuration here so you can see that uh, it is logging me in with this with this email uh, with this email id and this is the project name and so if uh, uh, here it is saying that uh, please pick configuration to use. So I am saying I am entering one and once I enter one, then it will doing some processing. After this processing is complete, now it will ask choose the account you would like to perform operation for this configuration. Uh, I am saying that and I choose my account, I choose my account and then it will give me the project list which project I want to uh, work with. So I am using NB classifier demo. So I am entering one here. Once I enter M here, I will, um, I have linked with this project. Now, once I am linked with this project, the another command that we need to use here is this one. Uh, so, The command is basically gcloud app deploy app.yml file hyphen project and the project name. And the project name was this one and we classify hyphen demo. Uh, let's say I write np classifier hyphen demo. So if I enter here, what it will do, it will deploy the app from my local onto the google cloud so uh, here it is saying that uh, services to deploy do you want to continue i say yes i want to continue so it is saying that beginning deployment of service so now it has started the uh, deploying the services it is uploading the files all the files whatever present into my root folder so basically the idea here is we downloaded the Google Cloud SDK, we installed it and once we installed it, we go to the root folder of the where our project lies and uh, we run these two commands and then it will automatically uh, upload all of the file onto the Google Cloud and will deploy them there and it will give us a URL where it has been deployed. So you can see that here it is also giving target URL. So once the deployment will be completed, my uh, app will be deployed here at this URL. So I can open it. So now you can see that uh, file upload part has been done. Now it is updating the service. So it may take uh, some time, two minutes, three minutes or five minutes, depending upon the, uh, the number of the files present into your project or the band network bandwidth you have. So we can wait for a couple of minutes here. 
so guys you can see that this part has been done and uploading has been done and all the services has been set and deployed service to default at this url so my this cloud has been uh, sorry my this um, this model has been deployed onto this service so let me copy this url and if i take you to this url then you will be able to see it whether it is working or not so uh, let me run it and so you can see that now it is it is running now just for checking purpose whether it is working fine so let's say if i uh, give some random inputs my, i gave salary as 10 age as let's say some 19 male uh, one male one means that it is a male and if i say click predict so it is giving the result so the idea here is uh, although this is not a very fancy ui so as i told you that on the slash predict url this uh, basically this part is being called uh, this part this method is being called and on this in this method what we are doing we are doing the prediction and giving the results and rendering the html file so that's the only thing uh, although this is not a very fancy ui it is uh, idea here is main focus on the uh, deploying a particular machine learning model onto the google cloud platform how we can do this so that's all for this video guys and if you one more thing before uh, taking off before saying bye bye for this video one more thing important is all the links required for this uh, or used into this video are present will be given into the description of uh, this video so the uh, uh, code git um, git link for the code and uh, the other useful links which i have talked about uh, in this video i will uh, give all of every link into the description of this video if you have any confusion then you can let me know in the comments if you like this video please share it with your friends if you do not like this video please let me know what should be improved upon so till the next video bye bye take care thank you